Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Unqualified Reviews, where we are reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race, Drag Race Philippines Season 3, uh, Episode so 8, great. The Lala Parusa. Lala Parusa Extravaganza Smackdown? Is that the full name? Yeah, and some girls are getting absolutely smacked down, beat up, yes. hair pulled, eaten up. You can't afford that, sis. Kind of dealio. Oh, like tea, and... body tea. The Lord with me. I said I wasn't gonna talk about it, okay. but if 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 you know, if, we'll get to that. If, if it, it gets if it comes in, out, if it comes if in, it comes out, it's fine. you know, if if the if the Holy Spirit comes out, the Holy Spirit. I think the first thing we got to address is Zimba going to the workroom and being like, "Do you like my dress? Where did I get my dress from? You can't afford it." Or like whatever bullshit she said. And then Mix claps back, and she's like, oh, uh, you don't even pay for your costumes. Your drag mother does, or whatever she said. And apparently that was something they were talking about in the hotel room the night before, but Zimba gets pissed off about it. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, what do you mean? Are you calling me broke? And it's a whole weird conversation. It was so weird. It was giving, like, we joked about this before, and, like, we've been joking about this. Like, why are you acting brand new? But, like, okay, there are definitely, like, we joke in private versus joke on camera. We're in a reality TV television show. So maybe it was one of those situations where it was, like, an off-camera sort of sitch. You know, fun vibes. Um, but I think there are way nicer ways to say, I don't like the way, I don't like us talking about that. Please don't talk mm-hmm. about that. Than yeah. calling someone broke yeah that was kind of intense maxi stood up for mix so she was like what you you did say that in my stage mm-hmm. but whatever. oh and i know you guys are all asking yes i am going through a tough time right now with a man in some kind of relationship right now so i did cut bangs <laughs> in i in the shower i did cut my bangs uh oh. but you know life goes on this is the human gay experience <laughs> I do have a switchblade uh, little comb that I use to just fix them I up. I think that's the, that's the experience right there. <laughs> More than the a haircut, switchblade comb. Oh, I don't want to. No, YouTube. It was a comb. It's a comb, YouTube. Yeah, Chill. No one is going to say it's a comb. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Don't report our video. It's a comb. So they see this dress, and it's actually Yuri Puda's dress. So why is she... She is talking about... You can't afford the dress I'm wearing that I didn't even buy. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was insane. Mm-hmm. I, am I giving Zoe de Chanel 500 days of summer? Mm, kind of. I'm it's looking like Jordan, Gordon Levitt and Zoe de Chanel had a kid. Oh, God. And I, <laughs> I've wait, wait, wait. You're giving, like, Steve from Blue's Clues <laughs> with a shirt. I'm the fourth one. They went blue, green, purple, and I'm the orange one. Yeah. So why are you talking about costumes if you don't pay for them? I paid for it. You pay for it? You pay for that? Uh-huh. Right, right, okay. Right, right. Oh my god, beginning of the episode. Uh, shout out to all the commenters in between this episode and last episode. So we do it here at the beginning of the episode because this is with the highest retention rate of our episodes near the mm-hmm. beginning-ish. So we have, thank you to Mr. Attitude. Can't believe I stuck around that long and watched the whole oh. video. It was worth it. So thank Aww. you. Someone... Thank you, Mr. Attitude. Huh? That's so nice. I can't believe I stuck around. I can't believe I stuck around. And I can't believe you stuck around <laughs> either. Yeah. We're entertaining. Kind of. Ish. Entertaining. Ish. Uh-huh. Sorta. Kinda, maybe. So, mm-hmm. yes, they do this whole beef where they go back and forth being like, no, you can't afford clothes. Okay, mm-hmm. Mick Chanel, since you can afford clothes, since you, since you got a job, and you, could, and you could pay for clothes. It was intense. Mm-hmm. Anyway... I we haven't seen the next episode, but I have a tarot card prediction as to who will be mm. going home next episode. Yeah, I wonder who it is. I wonder who it could be. 
Mm-hmm. So the girls all are feeling very off put by this morning interaction. A lot of tension in the air. Oh, so much like cuttable with a knife kind of tension in the air with this. Mm-hmm. I love this. Fighting. fighting. Do not mess with anyone because they <laughs> will fight you. Mm-hmm. I am this is my new favorite. You know how people have like vocal stems and vocal ticks? Mm-hmm. That's your tick. <laughs> like even now with my hands in this position it's too close to here it just wants to do it <laughs> you're, free to, you're free to do it ah it's the, the demon the voice inside of me wait the, the parasite the, the voice is to wait the parasite oh. <sighs> we need to continue moving on we have uh the workroom going crazy over we all come together, and it's RuPaul. Okay. And I think I know why. I, we were watching this episode, and I realized why we never noticed that RuPaul was on an iPad before. Why? Because when they do the insert shots, like this shot here, it's in widescreen. But mm-hmm. when they do the outside shot to show the queens looking at the iPad, it's in the <laughs> vertical aspect ratio. Yeah, it was weird. We were waiting for... I was, like, not listening to anything she was saying, because I was waiting to see the <laughs> iPad. And she said your your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She she says nothing, so it doesn't matter what we're. Even all the queens are like, like, I don't understand what that means. Yes. <laughs> That's so Mom fun. Pal, Mom Pal comes in looking like a football. <laughs> like her words, not mine. It looks like your shoelaces are untied. I kind of like it though. It's kind of a look. Very football. Uh, yes, they come out and they announced, oh, yes, a mini challenge. Do you like mini challenges? Of course I do. Especially on Drag Race Philippines. They never disappoint with the mini challenges. Mm. And they're just, it's its not always padding for time. It feels like it's actually genuinely, genuinely fun. And this one was pound the pot, which I've never heard it called that before. It's basically like hitting the pinata. What is the game called? It's, it's. I didn't get it. It's, um, like, uh, more and more, please. Do you know when babies, do you know when parents have babies and they're trying to teach their baby to ask for more, but they can't speak, oh, so they teach yeah. them sign language? Like, oh, more, please. <laughs> do you want more? Do you want more? Um, it's a pinata. It's just a pinata. It's just called yeah. a pinata. Like, the activity is pinata, I guess. If you, if, if we were in French and they had like the je pinata, tu pinata, il pinata, <laughs> el pinata. Um, this is what French immersion does too. This is my kind of brain rot, my French immersion <laughs> brain rot. Um, and this is just the same where they get like a tiny, but this is a tiny pot. Yeah. And it has candy allegedly inside with confetti and they tie mm-hmm. it up. And I guess it's harder to hit and you're blindfolded all the same. So it's like... A pinata. Shocker. It's not even like a pinata. It is a pinata. <laughs> I don't even know. It's just called it's, Pound the Pot. It's pinata ish. And they're doing it in their sexy, slutty drag, according to Mom Pal. We might have to skip this part. Okay. Isn't too raunchy for. This, we, can for keep, we can stay on this. <laughs> we can stay here. This isn't raunchy. Okay. This is art. Um. It's pinata ish it's just not dora the explorer mm-hmm. do you know those big dora the explorer pinatas of course i do those are traumatizing <laughs> those will make you think dora is real mm-hmm. so she is real okay i'm just gonna you will use this to You're break it in. <laughs> we're just gonna skip over it it's too sexy for youtube too hot for youtube okay. So, yeah. we find out that the winner of this challenge is Mick Chanel, as she just walks mm-hmm. forward and slaps the thing, yeah. and we get a confessional from Zimba being like, well, they need to give her something before she goes home. Um, wow. Unrelated, of course. <laughs> Amazing foreshadowing. <laughs> we, call, we call that foreshadowing the business. I learned that in English class. Oh my god, could you imagine if in today's high schools, instead of analyzing edgar Allan poe you have to analyze rupaul episodes i love it go insane though <laughs> well isn't Nothing makes sense. i feel like english class could make you go insane yeah it did 
not there, a fun time. There are two kinds of people in an English class. The people that are there getting insane and the people who are not there outside smoking. <laughs> <laughs> but they all, but all gay guys, gay guys. I wanted mm -hmm. to say queer, but I felt like that one would have been a little too hard for YouTube. Queer is an inappropriate word for YouTube? I don't know. What? Why would they not like that word? Oh, well. I'm I'm yeah, not gonna make any assumptions on YouTube's okay. policies towards gay people. Um, okay. moving on, they break the pinata with a stick and make Chanel wins. <laughs> uh, so uh, the tension is still very much alive. That's the pot. That's so it's so tiny. She's so cute. Yeah, that was cute. Little Pot, you're the winner of this week's mini challenge. Well, actually, you're the biggest loser of this week's mini challenge. Yeah. You get smashed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There okay. was some there was some funny tension between Zimba and Mix there where they're hitting the piñata thinking of each other. Mhm. Mm A and few girls are thinking of Zimba when they hit the piñata. Yeah, there's some there's some unresolved tension. I feel know. like they don't like Zimba. Well, she was wasn't she racist a couple of episodes ago, <laughs> and she didn't really apologize. <laughs> well, she did apologize. Just an oh, episode yeah. later. I guess. And she... then the whole incident in the morning, mm -hmm. where she pretending that, or she wasn't pretending, but like, thing with her dress. That was a, a moment for sure. Mm hmm. It, it, it's 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 the energy is weird. Let's just say that. Let's mm -hmm. just say that. All right, look at this look. Look at this beautiful look Mama Pals got on. I love this look. Yeah. If, if, we, were, if we were rating it, I'd be eating this. Mm -hmm. I love the the pink makes her like legs look even thinner. Yeah, it looks snatch. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful look. We have no looks to review today as this is a lip sync Lala Perusa. And I will mm -hmm. simply be the lobster on Khaled Karen's head. Now this is also an eat. Yes, I'm eating this look. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I don't like lobsters though. I don't like anything that looks kind of like a spider. That's fair. <laughs> well, what about Jiggly Caliente? Uh, she looks like a spider. Not really. I mean, I'm all those scared. necklaces. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite a look. I don't know if I'm going to be eating this one. This is more of a leave it on my plate. I'm, this is I'm quite a look. It is. It's definitely a look. Mm -hmm. Do I enjoy it's it? It's like when your mom gets really into crystals. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a bit too much. Like the, the little, little Illuminati eye in the middle. Uh, the evil eye, you mean? <laughs> yeah. The Illuminati eye in the center. Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls in the center of her titties. I just, I can't. I, oh, we yeah. have to move on. <laughs> the smile is crazy. It's, it looks like one of those face filter apps when you do the auto smile option. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, are they not going to show us the other looks? That's no, probably for our, this. Oh no, oh, they just skipped over John Santos. But we get beautiful BJ Pasquale. Mm hmm. With the curls. Pas playing as Superman. <laughs> or actually, yeah, it is Superman. Mm -hmm. And part. coincidentally, I am cosplaying as Lois Lane today. <laughs> so make of that what you will. Mm hmm. Uh, because there's a gay in Gloria Gaynor. You'll have to let there us know is. that joke in the, <laughs> in the description. No, we don't, we don't get references. One thing about us, we don't know anything. That's true. We know that. Are we? Do we know that? <laughs> I think we do. Bring out the lip sync assassins now. Why do uh, the girls who do have reveal coats look like that meme where it's like Uno draw five, or it's like a uh, draw six hundred, or no, I forgot the meme. There are too many Uno memes. Can we talk about that? We need. There were only ever two Uno memes, and now there's like seven. That's too many. You don't know talk. The only about? Uno meme is the one where it comes with your PS4. It comes on or your Xbox. 
do Xbox. My bad. I didn't get the I didn't get the reference. But you have the like talk to your son or draw thirty two cards and it's the dude who has thirty two cards. And then you have the uh, when my girlfriend turns away and uh, I say Uno, she doesn't know the rest of the cards are in my ass. I'm like, what? You don't know these? You are missing are out on good Uno memes. Where do you find Uno memes? Honestly, Instagram. I don't. It doesn't come up. All of my Instagram is just Harry Potter and Twilight. Well, they call that and, the For You Harry. page. Yeah, it's like sometimes the 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 reels will just blend together. So characters from both Harry Potter and the Vampire Diaries will show. I think I sent you one. <laughs> and they'll be like, "What is like the, oh, this the is fandoms a cross page. over?" And I'm like, "What the hell is this?" You somehow managed to hit super specific niche. Yes. It's you could teach a master class in engineering. No, it's Germani, but it's a crossover between Elena from the Vampire Diaries and Draco from Harry Potter, and it's just fucking what? Are, okay. Did you see those that? AI images of the uh, the, the yeah. Vampire Diaries cast as Harry Potter cast? That's what I sent. I sent that to you. That no, and I sent you another one, I think too, but. That's what I'm talking about. When things like that are just crossed over, when my Instagram knows I like both things and they combine them, and it's like, this is bizarre and uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know what that has to Speaking do with Speaking of it. bizarre and uncomfortable, we get back to Drag Race. Mm -hmm. The queens who have a reveal code on look like the Uno meme where they put a bunch of cards up their ass and say Uno. <laughs> That was my tangent. Okay. All right. So we start our Lala Perusa uh, in the format of, I believe this is season sixteen was Sasha Colby season. No, that was Nymphia Win season. Season fifteen was Sasha Colby season. Sorry, I'm using my X Men mutant power of remembering Drag Race. Are you, it's like Xavier's thingy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, the helmet? Yeah, it's Xavier's thingy. It's his, tele, it's his uh, mind control, mind powers. <laughs> Listen, my main goal is just to get into an X-Men podcast, okay? It's a little weird that we started with Drag Race, but just trust me, okay? We'll eventually so, get there. We're getting there. We're, we're working through the, the, the prequel slash, it's not even prequel. It's like the alternative universe. And then we'll get to the comics. And all jokes aside, young Xavier can get it. Is that uh, Ian McGregor? No. I don't know. But well, we've only watched like two movies. Uh, the first class and the second one? Class? Yeah. And the second class? Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. But we'll right. get there. Well, once you're done those, we'll get you on some actual X-Men comics, and then we can have a book club that lasts for longer than two months. Mm, I don't know about that. No, it's okay. The X-Men books actually make you want to read them. Okay. Fuck JoJo's, I guess. <laughs> no, don't say that. He can hear us. It was I, Dio. Dio? Dio? Holy shit. So, everyone is left. Everyone, sorry to everyone. This is not a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure podcast, although it will never be. Wish it was. It will never ever happen until yeah. it happens. The first queen to lip sync is selected by a ball, and you know this is high value because the balls are written on with paint marker. Mm -hmm. uh, no yeah. lipsticks. I just let's just get into it, okay? It doesn't matter who picks who because this was all predetermined. We saw at the beginning of the episode that Angel was like, "Wouldn't it be crazy if we all lip synced against our partners from the interview <laughs> challenge?" And then they decide to pick their partners from the interview challenge. Mm, suspicious. 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 So round one, we have. I think the ball chooses Tita Baby. Um, the ball knows Tita what it wants. Tita Baby chooses Mix. 
and Mix chooses Adrenaline by RuPaul. And that's kind of a high energy song. So Tita Baby was like, oh, she's just trying to get rid of me because I'm the oldest girl in the competition. She thinks I can't handle it. But then bonus in Untucked, Mix said it was her strategy to get Adrenaline out of the way early. Mm-hmm. That sounds she, like someone who lies would say. Yeah, because she thinks that if she got Adrenaline now, even if she lost, she wouldn't be doing Adrenaline against one of the better dancers. Can I, can I, can I get it to go? Can I? And you're lucky you didn't see me on the stage mix. I would have smoked like, you. <laughs> like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know if I believe that strategy. I think she expected to win because at the very end, mm-hmm. uh, she was like, it was nice to see her try. And then she proceeded to get <laughs> uh, not chosen as the winner. So I thought that eight, that moment eight for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, no crumbs, no crumbs. <laughs> Tita Baby was working with the camera the whole time. She's the one up there that Mama Pal uses for her back shot. Yeah. There were a lot of reveals from Mix, which were good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Tita Baby, it was... She, Tita Baby ate her up. Mm-hmm. Just like my Tita. Uh-huh. I love Tita Baby. Love it was Tita funny, Baby. Mix, like, ends off lip sync, and she's walking away, and she's like... I decided to play the long game. Or maybe that's in the professionals, but she says, I decided to play the long game. As if she chose to lose on purpose. And she, like. It's like, giving Zimba Ding being like, well, I didn't want to win the first episode. Are you kidding me? That would put like, such a target on my back. Just take the, the loss and just say that you just weren't able. You, like, underestimated her. It happens all the time. Mm hmm. So, yeah, that was a good lip sync. I'm happy that Tita Baby, Tita Baby proved that she could win. I love a queen who would be like, I was wrong, she proved me wrong. Because when have you ever seen a queen be like, oh, I'm going to dominate and absolutely wreck this queen because I'm better than her? Lose and then be like, uh, I can't believe, she, like, oh my god, I was just, that was my intention all along. Like, I just wanted to yeah. lose this one. If you saw the <laughs> other one, you'd be like, oh my god. Yeah. That's character writing. Take notes. Mm-hmm. So I just, when Mix Chanel pulled this wig out, I said, that's not staying on her head. <laughs> uh, and then when Tita Baby pulled out in this wig, I said, that's absolutely staying on her head. <laughs> <laughs> that, and isn't that just the, ain't that just the ticket, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, could you imagine if Tita ripped this off and 40 inches bust down? I would love that. Oh, it would have been... Love- Wig reveals were so fun. We'll get to the we'll get to the wig reveals. So as everyone knows, Tita smokes uh, Mix in this. We get the little graphic here, and Mix is sent to the back of the stage, and Tita is sent to the back of the room, to the safe room, with the, the golden balut, mm-hmm. which no one knows what it does yet, and uh, we'll never know what it does. At least yeah. right now. Yeah, for me, we don't really know what it does anyway. Mm-mm. It's just, just whisper to it. It's just sitting there. I didn't get it. Um, it's just sitting there. And next up, we have Angel, and she picks Kiana. Yes. Now, are you ready? Are you ready to go? They're doing I Loka. Liked I liked it, because her reasoning was that she wanted to understand why Kiana was such a fierce component. Mm-hmm. Opponent, not component. <laughs> oh, whatever. Opponent. And then Kiana Wick walks up and she's like, your choice was the wrong choice. Which is comfy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Set the stage, girl. Set the stage. They're both just talking down on each other. Mad like, shit. Talking shit the whole time. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. You just know. So... This happens. It's fun. It's a good lip sync. They really go for it. Uh, we have we see a wig reveal from Kiana where she takes the black mullet off and then a bunch of baby powder and then there's a wig yeah. cap and she takes it off and it's this blonde number. And then you see Angel take this big over-encumbering dress and take it off. And then she took off her other hair and had a ponytail. 
they got into the song they were super vibey super into it uh and angel's the winner of this and afterwards she says i guess i did make a good choice and walks up to the back of the stage love it love it she ate that her personality mm-hmm. shined mm-hmm. so moving on to the third round oh don't look at him he's not for you <laughs> We have Maxi versus Zimbading. Ooh. Now, this might be the best lip sync we've seen on the show this season. I 100% I agree with that. It is, no question. And I just to commemorate it, I went online and I bought a bang piece. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just pulled this off? That would kill me. <laughs> That would be amazing. I pulled my whole hair off and I'm bald. No, you'd have the same hair underneath. And, and it's a bald cap. And then I pull it off and it's the same hair. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, listen, 5,000 subscribers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going to do. But before we get there, you'll forget. So I can do it again and it'll be a surprise. We, uh, so she comes out, Maxi, uh, says, wig reveal. There's still mm-hmm. a wig on my head. Get this shit off of me. There's still a wig on my head. Uh, and it's oh. all the same wig. I love the same wig, reve- wig reveals. There's just something about it that's so camp. It, it, um, it, in, it involves the magic of duplication. Mm-hmm. Like... Because it really is, you can really can't tell it's multiple wigs. Well, at least I can't. <laughs> I didn't know she had anything under there. Yeah, like, it looks like one wig. Yeah. And they all have the bang piece. Yeah. I think the problem with this lip sync was that Zimba, A, she looked pretty nervous. And B, she was, like, doing way too much in the very beginning. And you can't just start off, like, with your full energy. You gotta leave that for, like, the climax of the song. But she was, like, flipping over and doing all this stuff, like, right when the song started. (laughs) It's like, um, a good lip sync is like an onion. Yeah. It's got valleys. Oh. Layers. It's got layers. That's the worst Trek accent I've ever heard. I gotta go. That was so mean. I fu- that was- I fully just got bullied. Oh, I gotta. Why would you bully me on my own show like that? <laughs> I own fifty percent of this company. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well, I'm never talking again. That's I'm never. That's it. She can run the rest. I'm I'm done. Mm. <laughs> so this lip sync was great. We see Maxi win because of her confidence and experience, and Zimba lose because she was nervous, but she had fun at least. Yeah, it wasn't that she was bad. She just got outshone, outshined. Shown. Shown. <laughs> Shown. <laughs> Shown. Yes, uh, and I think I will get it to go. Can I? Can I? Can I get it to go? Can I get it go? Can I get it go? Yeah. We're eating it, or also ordering a couple for later. <laughs> and getting it to go! Thank you, Adrenaline by RuPaul. Uh, I love the same Adrenaline, though. <laughs> that's the lyric in Adrenaline. Oh, is it? Yeah, are you ready to go? Oh. Oh, was I saying... Well, uh, you were saying I'm getting it to go. <laughs> can I Can I take it to go? Can I, can I take it to go? Listen, I don't know any RuPaul songs. I don't know who that woman is. <laughs> She just, like, Freddy Krueger's me in my nightmares. Mm. I'm, like, low-key worried if RuPaul kills me in the dream, I won't wake up. Do you ever get that feeling? She's not gonna kill you in the dream. She's been getting better. Her aim's been getting better. Mm. So, (laughs) we move on. And Maxi wins, obviously. Mm Mm-hmm. So they come out, and the top, the, we have our winners and our losers, and our three losers are now in the hands of the three winners who have the power of the Golden Balut. What does the Golden Balut do? God knows. Nobody will tell us. 
No, but they just whisper into the egg. And, like, they don't even say who they're saving. They're, they just, later, Angel comes on stage holding the egg. And she's like, the person I'm choosing is blah, blah, blah. And then she hands the, she hands the egg to them. So and RuPaul said much. the vote was unanimous. That's That was really shocking. They unanimously, unan, unanimously chose Yana to stay. Mm -hmm. And this so, was after a long untucked of the yeah. girls I say the girls of Mix and Zimba begging the queens save me literally verbatim save me save me please save me just save me yeah. please save I me think, yeah Mix was a better at, like well Zimba Mix was, was bad like, in a different way yeah Zimba was like straight up begging but Mix was kind of just being like the other the other two are really good dancers I've been in the bottom a couple, like three times, but I've also been in the top. I've uh, everything I've done for this community. I've had this community yeah, on my oh. back. I lifted it up by myself. No, the, the way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she said that. Well, this was like a crazy episode because, like, up until now, these girls have been like in quotation marks sweet, and like you haven't really seen like this desperation side to them. But when they're given this opportunity to save themselves from elimination, oh, it is the realest reality television gets. They are like, do you see the like real that. essence of a person and what they're like, what they're willing to do to stay? Yeah, at one point Zimba was set, was like praying to Angel, um, and she was trying to bribe Maxi with her drag money and she's like we'll take care of you if you let me stay we'll figure it out and i'm like whoa alaska all stars too much oh, and i so apparently this is uh i watched uh willem in alaska's review of all stars too they reviewed all the entire season uh alaska said to katya that she would give her ten thousand dollars because like when you win a lip sync on that show <laughs> He's attacking me. When you win a lip sync on that show, uh, you got 10k for doing it. So she had won a few lip syncs. So she was like, "Money I made here, I can bribe you with." Mm. She was using an asset she got in the competition. Yeah. Which makes more sense, you know? It's like I won money for doing this lip sync. Like I have an asset that you know about. This isn't like me being like I'm rich. I have money. I can pay for you. It's like you know I got this money. Here's like trying to do it. Whereas here it feels. Not like that. Not like that at all. It's like, my mom has money. I'll, she'll give it to you. Mm -hmm. It's like, my mommy can pay for it. Yeah. It was, was weird. Yeah, there was too much desperation. Mm -hmm. And then Kiana's just... And it was crazy because, like, you would... They did this thing where, like, each of the girls individually went and they, like, sort of rotated. Like, it was a school group assignment and you had to do a discussion. So they sort of, like, rotated to the person to your right. Uh, and... It was crazy because you each three shots you would have the two girls like really going crazy and then whenever we got to the one on ones with Kiana, she was the she was chill. Like the most we got from her was she was like to tea the baby like I feel like a failure like I feel like some of the stuff I do is a failure, and tea the baby's like I should save you because you're a failure which iconic. It's really iconic. Yeah, and but Kiana was basically just saying. Um, she only has herself. Mix has her podcast. Zimba's still young. She has her drag mom, who's really popular. But Kiana is kind of just the outsider there. She doesn't have much. Mm -mm. She's representing drag. small drag. Yeah. And they pick her. They save Kiana. Understandable. Mm -hmm. I would have too. Yeah, so... just, even, just based on her drag. Not even all <laughs> Everything else. Yes. So their bottom two queens are Mick Chanel and Zimba Ding. And they lip sync. Uh, and they lip sync hella hard to a song. And mm -hmm. uh, by Leah Navarro. Mm -hmm. So for those people who I imagine are straw men and say, Oh, you never talk about the lip sync song. We talked about the person who sang it. We do. And by talked about them, I meant that's their name. 
That's their name right there. Mm -hmm. Search that up. <laughs> so they lip sync and uh, Zimba wins. And Mix goes home with a speech uh, that was a little weird, but, you know, let's not get into it. I don't think anyone left to their community as much as I have, or whatever she said. That was kind of... And it was true. She was right, but she was right in a sense that I'm right when I say no one has uplifted my community as much (laughs) as I have, you know? Like, I don't... I can't think of another single white gay dude with a podcast that talks about drag race on youtube who has done more for his community of just under 300 subscribers on youtube i still didn't get it i'm trying to get a fly by the way if people are wondering why i'm clapping clapping to the beat (laughs) i bring the beat i bring the beat beat. um and honestly I'm just so glad to be recognized that I do do the most for my community. Mm-hmm. You got my vote. I got fuck ass bangs for my community. Mm. I think that's your just your quarter life crisis, not for your community. Quarter life. How long have you been seventeen? A while. <laughs> we were just watching Twilight yesterday. We are we infected. First, like we watched like the first forty five minutes. Of just the yeah. first movie? Yeah, it's so bad. It's like unreasonably bad. As the worst <laughs> I remember. Like what? they fall in love so quickly and I just I can't do it. And there's no compulsion. There's no compulsion. Like they just go for it. Yeah. And he, he doesn't burn in the sunlight, he he, he glows. There's, there's no more. cat there's no cunty Catherine. No, yeah, there's no cunt in the whole the whole thing. Can you believe that? There's no mean girl vampire. Mm, well, they're, they're, the villains are kind of crunty, but they are they don't last very long. Mm, 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 mm. So, we have um, our top five. Yep. So, you know, the season's almost over, and then we'll go to Drag Race Philippines 1, or we'll figure that <laughs> out. Uh, I guess that's the end of this episode. I didn't mean us to drag on for so long. Sorry to talk your ear off. No, we've we've gone way longer before. Well, oh we... yeah, <laughs> way longer. No, they 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 can get through this one. They're fine. Uh, well, there's nothing left to get through. We're about to say MA. MA. No, it's can I get an MA? <laughs> MA. MA. Uh, your mother is a queen. Your mother is a queen too. We will not be here next week. And. We won't? Aren't you? <laughs> right. I am God. <laughs> she, I need her for a magic trick and I will be poofing her away for a week and then she will come back when I poof her back for a week. So do not I worry. Will... Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll be back in like a week and a half. But I'll figure something else out. Maybe I'll do a whole video where I name every single Pokemon and I don't stop <laughs> until I name every single Pokemon. It is high on the list. Well, I thought we were doing that video. Well, do you want to do Because when I asked you if you want to do it, you said why. It's, a, it's just a, it's a valid question. <laughs> no, you just got to gonna do things, you know? You just got to go for it. I can't name, I can't name any Pokemon. Name 10 Pokemon sure. right now. Infernape, Chimchar, Monferno, Hiplop. What the fuck is the middle evolution? <laughs> Empyreon? Uh... What the fuck is the middle? I don't even know. <laughs> no, I'm not giving you Empyreon. Empoleon. <laughs> Empoleon, sorry. Um, Turtwig. Gro- what is it? Grotto? Uh, Tyrannosaurus? Not Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> What's it called? Tyrannosaurus? Hi. Okay, oh, guys. That's all we have for today's episode. <laughs> They're playing us off. I like it's the Oscars. We'll see you guys next. Or not next week, but later. Later. Okay, bye. Bye. M.A., where's my mouse? I can't find my mouse. Where is my mouse? All right, bye, everybody.